We got a, uh, an email from Jenna from Bancroft. So she's going away. She needs some help in streamlining her makeup bag. I think we can all learn from this. <laughs> what should she pack? I, I feel like every single time I go on, a, on to an airport, I'm confused about the rules. So let's just well, start with what you can take. I know. It, it is very confusing, confusing because every time you go through, it seems like there's a new rule yeah. that I'm not following. <laughs> and they have discretionary power, so sometimes they let <laughs> stuff me. go through, sometimes they don't. I know. So what is the rule that and you And the trick for me, and I'm sure this is true of a lot of people, is if you're taking a carry-on bag, you're not checking any bags, you want to take everything to make yourself look fantastic. Yeah, just in case. But it has to fit in this little plastic bag, which can be challenging. So yes. I'm going to come up with a few different ways that you can put everything you need in one little bag. And just okay. by the way, this is more or less basically the size of bag you're allowed in your carry-on. And it does have to be see-through, and it has to be able to close. Right. So, so most of us you would use have like a zip lock, out. but I you know. have a cute little uh, <laughs> variation there. I, that's because nice. I can't do a ziplock. No, please. you can't. No, because Kurt there's can't people in line that. watching what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, this bag was bought at a drugstore, and right. it had all the little pieces in it. So, oh, smart. it's I know. So you can get this this right at the store. It doesn't okay. cost a whole lot, so and it just looks a little nicer. It does look nice. Yeah. It carries it all in there. So mm -hmm. everything just has to be under 100 mil. You've got everything you right. need. You've got you know mouthwash. You've got mm -hmm. lotion. Um, so just in case your bag gets lost, your luggage gets lost. You're still okay. Exactly. Ish. Yes, an ish. You're, yeah. You know, you're a little so okay. So it's true. So true. Each individual piece has to be under 100 ml in size. Yes. Uh, these all are. And you know what the trick is? Find, look for sample sizes everywhere you go. Yeah. You know, when you uh, go to the store and uh, and they have a gift with purchase on and in your favorite uh, cosmetic brand. Mm -hmm. Get it. Even if you don't like all the pieces, there's something in there. There's like little moisturizers, yeah. there's little fragrances, and you can use them as part of your travel kit. Right. The other thing I do is I steal, of course, from mm -hmm. the hotels themselves. Me too. Especially the ones that give you the nice little amenities, which oh, I yes. never seem to stay in, but anyway. I was going to say, I've seen that before. Is well, that the yeah, hotel? it is. Yeah, yes. this is a pretty, uh, pretty commonly it's a good found brand one. They have there. But, you know, take them, and then you've got your shampoo, your conditioner, your, and some of them give you body lotions yes. and all kinds of neat stuff. Um, and the same thing goes with fragrance samples too. Quite often in stores, uh, especially uh, you know department stores, actually any of them, Sephora, wherever, they'll give you a little group of samples that, especially the latest fragrances that they're promoting, yeah. and you know take them even if you're not sure, and then you can put them inside your little bag here. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, in terms of the makeup that you want to take, you mm -hmm. probably don't need to take your entire makeup bag. No. Right? Yeah. You're just taking the colors that you actually wear. Like, I have, well, like, five it. palettes in my makeup bag. I don't use all those palettes. Well, exactly. And, by the way, these rules only go for liquids, so you can still take your eyeshadow palette right. or your powder, because that doesn't count. So you can take it, put it in something separately from this. Okay. Um, but, it, but liquid does include foundation. Mm. So you can dispense it into a little container, like, that comes as part of this kit. Yeah. And you can just put enough that you would need in there. Got it. But if you are taking, like, your lip gloss, and your mascara like it has to fit in the bag because that's considered a liquid so it does have to fit in there but fortunately they do really easily but so you can take that too. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so this would be for your whole trip whereas this for me is one day on City Life. <laughs> yeah so then you would need that's a larger on my face one. Now. Yeah I might yeah. have to use the larger But that's container. for you know I've got moisturizer in there this is makeup remover in this one oh, so smart. you can dispense from your full-size products into the little travel pack ones. Good tips Kirk thank you so much let's go to break more coming up.